Elise Lightyear here and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to take you along with me in a day in my life living here in Beijing, China. It is the first week in October, which happens to be National Week, which means me and the whole country have the week off. So let's start my day. Come on. It's looking like a cloudy, pollution-y day here in Beijing. I need to wash my hair. <sighs> hey Siri. Start mixed cardio workout. Starting your workout. Due to China's COVID policies, my local gym has been closed since June. Because it's underground and at a basement level, and it has a pool, and places that are below ground have not all been able to reopen. Oh. It's time for breakfast. <sighs> so I just got out of the shower washing my hair. I wanted to show you all of my international products that I can buy here in China. This is my favorite go-to shampoo. This is a US brand and I bought this on Taobao, but you need a Chinese ID to buy it, so I had a Chinese friend buy it for me. Again, bought this from Taobao. Don't need a Chinese ID. This is from an African girl who makes her own products who lives here in China. Bought this on WeChat from her. Some Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash from Taobao. Sarah V, Taobao. I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. And I keep it with me just so that I'm feeling safer. It's a whole lot of money. I know you're staring at my skin and wondering what are those dark red circles all over my back. Well, no need to worry. It is just slight bruising after cupping. Cupping is a very safe traditional Chinese medicine that I use to help resolve my chronic muscle tightness and back pain. I'm about to go into this cafe, so I should put on my mask. Sitting at my table before was 
practicing English. Tongue, 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 tongue. I think it's supposed to be tongue. <laughs> so funny. Let me tell y'all, having a YouTube channel is a full-time job. And I am always having to edit or film something. So right now, right here, I'm playing two birds with one stone. I'm filming a video and editing a video at the same damn time. So look how cute this little area is. Since the last time I was here, they totally changed it. time for me to leave this cafe. I am 90% finished editing, but I am going to my friend's new apartment and then going to dinner. But first, I need to make a quick stop to get them a small housewarming gift. So, got to go. I've been to this cafe a bunch of times. I used to live just a few blocks away from it. And one of my favorite things are all of these ridiculous fake books. So let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Riveting title. My youth has you, your youth has me. Available on the store. It's actually upside down. There is no die in the heart. It's kind of ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> Oh, it's dark outside. Oh, there is a COVID testing facility right here, but I don't need to get a test. I need to get a bike and I need a blue one. The shared bike system in China is probably one of my top three favorite things about living here. It is so cheap so convenient and literally so easy. I ride a bike at least three times every single day. Whoa. This is actually one of my favorite malls in all of Beijing because I used to live next to it and it has one of the best cupcake stores in like probably all of China. So I'm gonna get some cupcakes to bring to my friend's new place. Okay, okay. Per usual, the sign says no entry unless you got a 72 hour COVID test. That's just the way it is. Do you hear the fake bird noises? <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Here we are, pantry's best. Dessert shop of the year, this place. It's so delicious. Oh my god, look at all the beautiful cupcakes! Okay, Iga Yedza. Iga Chocolate. Mochara. Okay, just ordered myself a taxi. Let's see, three minutes away. Traffic is so terrible that I had to get out of the taxi and walk. Like, oh national holiday time in one of the most popular neighborhoods in Beijing. The traffic is horrendous. I mean, this video is gonna do no justice. 
but the traffic is like this bumper to bumper for like two miles down that road. Made it, finally, jeez. Traffic is absolutely horrendous. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you filming? I'm vlogging. Oh, uh, okay. I'm doing a day in the life. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my God, hello. Hi, look at this. The traffic, I'm sorry. It's a holiday, it's China. Should I take my shoes off? No, you don't have to. Hi, Miss Lauren. Hello, how are you doing? A retired China life. <laughs> you look lovely. Spread. Oh, thanks. Yes, we've got the charcuterie board. Oh, charcuterie, yummy. Yeah. Well, somebody pour me. Yup, yup, pour me a bottle. Not a bottle, glass. Cheers. Cheers to your new place. Welcome to Beijing, officially. Yeah. yeah. These are some of my lovely new friends who have just moved to Beijing. Funny story, Fabio is actually a YouTube subscriber of mine who reached out to me via Instagram and said how my, my videos helped him in his move to Beijing. And of course, I did not respond. <laughs> Only because I get quite a lot of Instagram DMs like this on a regular basis. And a lot of times people don't respect my boundaries and expect for me to jump through hoops in order to make their life in Beijing easier. But nonetheless, Fabio persisted and also is like a cool ass normal human being and we really clicked and got along. And uh, here we are a few months later, hanging out in his fancy new place. Yeah, give me a tour. Okay, let's do it. Let me bring my, bring my champagne. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is the study that it's a mess or nobody can learn anything here? You got a piano? Yeah, my kid plays it. Yes, bathroom. Oh, uh, this is the size of my just my only bathroom. So this is the master suite. Yep. Ooh, look at all this space. Oh my God, look at your view. Oh my love, God! Look at that! I love BJ's blowjobs. <laughs> what an inspiring message to look at every night. I love blowjobs. Oh my God! You guys are rich. This is giving money. I was wise enough to then pick up two wardrobes from the other <laughs> rooms. Oh, smart. And here, the mini gym. A mini gym? Yeah, that's not still assembled 100%, but... Wow. Oh, okay, he's gonna demonstrate. Oh! Careful! Okay, oh! Ah! Oh my god! Clap for him! <laughs> Shirts. Money. 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 All I see is money. All I'm seeing is dollar signs. Every room, I'm like, <gasps> damn. Gotta give me an, emb an embassy man. Mateus. Any single man working at an embassy? Because <laughs> I need to find me one. That's the hot paper that yeah, I saw on the elevator. Oh. Yeah. 